So in this video, we're going to look at writing the Lewis structure for NaHCO3, that's sodium bicarbonate. Because we have a metal, sodium's a metal, and then we have this group of nonmetals here, this is going to be an ionic compound, and we're really going to need to think about the charge. So let's start with the sodium. We can see on this periodic table here, sodium, that's in group one. It's right here, group one, and that will have a one plus charge. So we can write just a plus up here. Sodium, that's positive. For the HCO3, that's actually a polyatomic ion. It's a group of nonmetals bonded together in an ion that pretty much stays together. So we can look that up if you haven't memorized that it's the bicarbonate ion. You can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions. And some teachers let you use this. Others want you to memorize it. And HCO3 is right here to HCO3 has a minus charge, that minus applies to the whole HCO3, and that is the bicarbonate ion. So now that we know the charges, we can write the Lewis structure. So I'll write Na+, plus, and that's our sodium ion, has a one plus charge in group one on the periodic table. And then I need to write the Lewis structure for HCO3. And these are all nonmetals bonded together, so it'll be covalent, they'll share valence electrons. I have a video, explaining exactly how to do that for HCO3, how to write the Lewis structure. But for now, let's just drop it in because we can see that HCO3, we have a negative charge. Here's the Lewis structure. We have our negative HCO3 bicarbonate ion, and that's attracted to the positive Na+, the sodium ion. That makes sodium bicarbonate, which overall, it's a neutral molecule because the plus and the minus, they cancel out, give us a net charge of zero. So this is the Lewis structure for NaHCO3. We put the brackets around this HCO3 here to show that it has a negative charge and that the sodium, it lost an electron, it transferred an electron to the HCO3. So that extra electron made this negative here. And since sodium lost an electron, it's now positive. So that's our Lewis structure. Do note that if you have NaHCO3, it's really not going to exist as just one of these units. They'll all be together in a crystalline structure. But this does show us how the sodium lost an electron and why these two are bonded together in an ionic bond. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.